Hello and welcome to Frankfurt English News. My name is Boris Siromako and I'm delighted to present you with the new hub for news in English in Frankfurt. We're gonna have a blast and we're kicking off with a bang too because we're starting with arguably the biggest political battle in the city, the race to become the mayor of Frankfurt. On Sunday, the 5th of March, there are gonna be elections for the new office in which 20 candidates are running. We're gonna take a look at each and every one of them individually. So without further ado, let's dive in. We've got a lot to cover. Twenty candidates have registered for this year's election, and if that sounds like a lot, it's because it actually is. It's a significant increase from the 12 people that ran for office in 2018, and doubles the figure of those who ran in 2012. However, there is a growing consensus in the media that we might be witnessing a three-horse race. So, we're going to be taking a look at all three favorites to win by order of their pole position. Manuela Rotman is representing the Greens. She has been a member of the party for 31 years. She is 50 years old and was born in Würzburg, but completed her studies in law in Goethe University of Frankfurt. She has lived in the city for 25 years and has a decorated career of juggling politics and legal practice. Her training was at a local court, then she was Frankfurt's head of department for environment and health between 2006 and 2012. She then took the position of legal advisor for DB Nets, the infrastructure division of the Deutsche Bank, before she became a member of the Bundestag and later state secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture. Climate protection is Manuela Rotman's top priority. I quote, without an answer to the climate catastrophe, we can save all of the solutions, unquote. These ideas echo through Rotman's campaign to turn Frankfurt climate neutral by 2035. And she aims to achieve this through housing, education, security, and infrastructure development. We'll be taking a look at that as soon as we introduce her main competitors. Uwe Becker runs for CDU and has seen the highs and lows of political life. The 53-year-old is Hessen's Secretary of State for Europe and the state government's anti-Semitism commissioner. From 2006 to 2021, he managed to build an impressive CV as a magistrate in the city of Frankfurt. He was city councillor for social affairs, youth and sports, and city treasurer. It's interesting to note that Uwe Becker wanted to run for mayor in the elections of 2012, but Boris Rhein won the internal party candidate race. This time, Mr. Becker has emerged victorious in CDU's internal affairs. The slogan of his campaign is, I quote, I would like to restore the dignity of this important office, and I will change the important issues in our city for the better, unquote. Namely, he wants to improve cleanliness and safety in the city, as well as provide a 100 million euros of construction booster for schools. Becker's program has points on infrastructure, security, education, and housing. And we'll be taking a look at those as soon as we introduce the last favorite to win this mayoral election. Mike Josef is SPD's candidate for Frankfurt mayor. He grew up in Ulm after his family moved from Syria when he was four years old. Mr. Josef studied politics, history, and law in Frankfurt before working in the German Federation of Trade Unions. He has been chairman of Frankfurt's SPD since 2013 and is currently the city's planning department head. His slogan is, I quote, a strong economy for social security, unquote. He wants to preserve Frankfurt's high profile for business investments and develop new possibilities for more jobs. Josef also wants to massively increase funding for schools and daycare centers. He points the figure of 1 billion euros. Mr. Josef's program impresses by the sheer numbers he's throwing as proposed funding. He's talking about security infrastructure, education, and housing. This is no surprise, because those are the issues that every Frankfurt citizen is concerned about. This is why I thought a more structured approach of comparison would allow you to understand the differences between those three candidates better and their views of a future Frankfurt. Let's start with housing. It's no surprise to anyone who even considered moving to Frankfurt that the housing market is a bit of a problem. The prices are so high, it's almost ridiculous. The asking price for one square meter is 7,000 euros if you want to buy it. If you want to rent it, the average price is at about 16 euros. But bear in mind, that's an average. So if you're looking at a more desirable district, you can even see this number double very quickly. So what can the future mayor do? Manuela Rotman wants to see an increase in housing construction, but under more environmental scrutiny. 
That includes sustainable materials and building and planning best practices. She argues that new construction areas should be implemented as soon as possible and supports the building of a new residential district along the A5. This is important, as the A5 is now a greenfield site and a topic for intense debate. Ms. Rotman insists that new development areas should be planned as land-saving and nature-friendly as possible. She also proposes to increase the requirement for developers to build 40% subsidized housing in the new areas, that is housing for those in need and unable to afford the high costs of the city. Uwe Becker argues that, I quote, our city should grow healthily, unquote, through an organic growth of the existing neighborhoods. A few years ago, Mr. Becker was part of the coalition that proposed the new district along the A5, but now makes a U-turn on this prospect and takes a firm stance against, I quote, artificial satellite towns on greenfield sites. Mr. Becker doesn't really endorse higher quotas for subsidized housing. He would rather have support for families who want to purchase a first property. Mike Josef is spearheading the project for development along the A5, which he says will create affordable homes for over 17,000 people. His ideas on new construction are coupled with resolutions to protect tenants against evictions and against speculative vacancies. His stance on subsidized housing is that it should go as far up as 30%. With the increasing number of families that choose to live in Frankfurt, the expansion of housing is quite obvious. But also, there's a growing need for education and daycare. Let's take a look at what the candidates have to say about that. Manuela Rotman supports the speedy refurbishment of schools in a serial system that was proven to be successful in 2015, when six daycare centers were templated and built. Increasing the funding for schools and daycare should also increase places and attract educators. What is key about her program is that she would like to reduce parental contributions and open more free places for lower-income families. Rotman also wants to expand Frankfurt's cultural significance and establish it as a literature and art capital by opening a number of centers that will support younger artists. Uwe Becker has a strong stance on schools and mainly about how insufficient they are. He wants to ensure that new schools are built quickly and that existing schools are properly digitalized and proposes a massive 100 million euros of a booster for school construction and modernization. Mr. Becker has installed a school deficiency counter on his website. The idea is that he would send this data to the head of the building and education department as soon as he would be elected mayor. This data, he argues, would help take the most necessary steps in school construction. Mike Yosef impresses with his proposed investment again. He wants to dedicate 1 billion euros to schools and daycare. This money will be distributed among new daycare workers, after school programs, free last year of daycare and the building of additional daycare centers and high schools to ensure that parents have a free choice of education facilities. He also proposes the establishment of a designated school construction company that should oversee all education developments and renovations and will add speed to the process. 100 million, 1 billion. These are huge numbers that are thrown at a growing problem. And while all three candidates agree that education should be invested into, the scope and scale of their plans are quite different. We're going to see the same difference in their approach to security. Concerns about city security have been gradually increasing in the past years as Frankfurt's drug-related scene has been increasing and the Bahnhof district has turned into pretty much a no-go zone. This is a very sensitive topic and an issue that needs resolving and, like anything complex, there are more than one solutions. Manuela Rotman has some strong words that I'd like to start with. She says that, I quote, Frankfurt must be safe for everyone, women, queer people and those Frankfurters who are particularly threatened by racism and anti-Semitism hatred and violence. She proposes more help for drug addicts, as well as legalizing cannabis and changing the laws to allow small-scale sale of hard drugs in addict facilities as measures to tackle the unrestricted drug market. She considers heavy fines for waste throwing and urinating on the public spaces and better lighting in the Bahnhof district. She argues that video surveillance doesn't replace actual police presence on the streets and points out that tougher measures against beggars and street musicians will be useless until the organized structures that force people to beg are tackled. She would also endorse a nightly no-weapon zone. Security and cleanliness are a focal point of Uwe Becker's campaign, and he has a strong stance on the subject. He would like to help drug addicts, but calls for an end of the open drug scene through an increase in police and video cameras, and banning weapons and alcohol in the quarter. All of this should increase the pressure on drug dealers. Becker calls for combined patrols of police and social workers, coupled with the establishment of a drug addict help center. His words are, I quote, people have a right to a clean and safe city, unquote. 
and it seems he's willing to take a harder stance to provide that. Mike Yosef advocates a no weapons zone and stricter weapons laws. He supports the expansion of video surveillance, especially at choke points, and an increased police presence in the streets. He has a harsh stance on organized begging, but supports the creation of a drop-in center for addicts. He proposes a round table solution that would see the heads of different departments working together under the supervision of the mayor in a bigger, clean Frankfurt department. You can see the same pattern of action. A harsh stance on drug-related crime and an understanding that the heart of the city should be more presentable. And yet, there are differences in the approach of all the candidates, as was the case with all the other main points. The last main issue that the candidates tackle is infrastructure. They all agree that there is a need for expansion of public transportation, and what really stands out are the two completely opposed views on traffic and bicycle lanes that Manuela Rotman and Uwe Becker have. Rotman wants to reduce car traffic in the city and expand the bicycle lanes, while Uwe Becker doesn't want to limit cars in the city, but rather optimize the bicycle lane network, which means reduce it, to accommodate for traffic. This is the main and most significant difference in views on this topic. And there you have them, the three favorites to win the mayor elections of Frankfurt. In the next episode, we'll be taking a look at some other candidates that pack significant firepower and might produce an upset and win the elections. The sources that we used to create this video are available in the description below. The German word of the day is Auswahl, and it means choice. It's a very important one because one should always aim to choose wisely. Thank you very much for being with us. Good night and good luck.